Coach Ash has got a good squad. I know some of the coaches obviously were past coaches here, so I know they've got great staff and got great kids. I mean, we've played some of the the same kids over the past three years, so we're kind of familiar with the faces and what their what their moves are and what they like to do and their tendencies. But uh, we're just going with our game plan, what the coaches said, and we're gonna go out there and execute. You think that makes them a little advantageous as far as having Chris Ash now, who was running the defense here for a couple years, now their head coach up there? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's he knows he knows what we do. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of the the world knows kind of what we do nowadays, since our coaches are in different places. But again, it, they have that; they can do what they want. We just have to take care of our plan. You guys are asking a lot of, Fair a lot of board material questions. <laughs> <laughs> I learned that lesson. Come on. <laughs> Anybody else? When you look at Rutgers, yeah. does it feel like practice a couple years ago? You know, in the sense of what, like because Coach Ash is here? Yeah, I mean, when you see them, do you, do you see the same yes. things you saw in practice? Actually, yeah, because in camp it just becomes chaos, and the defense likes to just tee off and run every single play. Oh. Can I get a sample of that? Um, but yeah, it's it's, it's kind of it's kind of cool because we kind of have that background knowledge of what they would like to do and what they want to do, and it's just now again. Even even in practice, if we execute and do our job, you know, big plays are happening. So. Billy, Billy. Oh, go ahead, man. The running game as a whole, you've, <laughs> they've averaged over about like six yards a rush. Mm -hmm. Do you take as a unit on the offensive line? Do you take pride in that? How much pride do you take into that? A huge amount of pride. That's that's our you know saying what the offensive line and tight ends <laughs> and everybody who's involved in the running game is has done and produced. Uh, you know, we took that with Zeke. There was 12 games or something. He had over 100 yards and. And then we would go, we'd be in a game, we'd be taking people out left and right, making sure that he got that. So it's a huge amount of pride for us, uh, you know, whether or not it is, you know, with Mike Weber, Curtis Samuel, whoever's running the ball, just as long as we take care of our job and, and start really pushing and making that line of scrimmage in our, in our advantage. Is, is there such thing as, can, can y'all rust during an off week? And do you, do you, you know what I mean, would, do you think y'all would have to shake some rust off <laughs> on Saturday or? Well, Coach or did we put did, too much into that? Coach Meyer did a great job of making sure we weren't rusty. So <laughs> in, we were, in what regard, Billy? Uh, we practiced our butts off, and that was it. Was probably one of the tougher weeks, but that was what it, it was meant to be. Yeah. Did you Young focus team. on anything in particular? Cardio, lots and lots of cardio. <laughs> nah, he uh, it just just making sure fundamentals are at a high, and that's really again during a bye week you have to go back to the fundamentals and continue to brush up on those and work on the things that you're bad at right now, uh, and. So there really wasn't rust to knock off. So kind of, as we were working with uh, Rucker stuff last week as well. You've been in this kind of like situation before of a team. Y'all have ultimate goals and stuff. Y'all have put yourself in position now. <laughs> Second in the country, number two in the country. I know it's just the polls, but mm -hmm. people pay attention to that. What, what's your, I don't know, advice, whatever you want to call it, to young players about, there's nine games to play, all that kind of stuff. I mean, there's, Worry you know, week to week. Yeah. Worry week to week and let everything else fall in hand. Because uh, if you start overlooking people and you start overlooking opponents and then, you know, slip up happens, and that's what we're going to make sure that we take care of each opponent, each, you know, quarter, down, game, whatever it is, just make sure we focus it this week. But is there a, is there a, I don't know, a, a skipping your step, hopping your step, though, knowing that you know people are watching, I mean, that they're they're paying attention to you guys, mm -hmm. that they consider you guys one of the top two teams in the country? Yeah, I got a couple of people out at uh, night, the, the Nike, when I was out at Nike and the summer contacted me, I was like, hey, you guys are number two. It's like, yeah, that's cool. You know, but I still got practice and I still have to focus on records and that's the most important thing.